Hello my YouTube friends. In this video I'm going to show you updating my Mercury Lux firmware to the latest version. I think it's version 1.2. I just saw the post on the Mercury 3 forum from Angel saying that the updates for the PC remote control is available and I think that's also version 1.2. This is how I'm going to make my video today. I'm, I'm going to be operating via remote control. Here's my Dell computer. This is how I remote control to my ICOM 7610 to operate HF remote control. And I'll use my MacBook to record this video and show you step by step on how to download and uh, install your uh, updates for the Mercury Lux and also for remote control for the Mercury uh, PC remote. So let's get started. What we're looking at here, uh, this here, the B-Link mini PC, this is my PC in Florida. So I'm operating remote control, okay? So I have the uh, amplifier turned on and I turn it on my amplifier remote control so what I'm using is I'm using a smart plug and if you look here you see I can't focus in because it's focusing on my face there's a Mercury Lux so, uh, so this first thing we do is um, I'm going to take a look at my existing uh, software so this is the uh, version 1.0 all right, you see down here on the left, 1.0. The latest version is 1.2. What I didn't like about this earlier was when I first started it, I had the operating standby on as you opened up the software. So I hope they changed that. So I'm gonna put that in standby. Let me quit this out. Let me start this over. You see it's connected, it's, it's registering a uh, a temperature. So I'm going to click on this software again. I'm in COM7. That's what I'm using now. These are all my COM ports. Let's X out of there. There you go. So that's in standby. I'm going to go into my other laptop that I showed you earlier. Okay. I'm going to transmit right now uh, because uh, it's in standby. So I'm pushing about two watts of power. Now it's in operate. Here comes two watts of power using a RIDI. 489, uh, 400, close to 500 watts, seven reflected. Okay, so that's, uh, my version one is what I like using. So let's try version two, or let's try version 1.2. Uh, put that on standby, and I'm gonna close this out. We're going to go to the KM3 KM website. Go to your downloads page and we're going to download the software version 1.2. All you need to do is just double click on that. All right, I'm going to go to my files, to my download tab, download folder, highlight it, and then do a right mouse click. We want to extract all of this right here. Click on extract all and I want to use my download folder for now and then just say extract. Okay, once it's completed, it brings up another window. And uh, you have a README text, you can take a look at that. And I want to install the drivers here. I'm just going to do a right mouse click. I'm going to run it as an administrator. And it's going to ask you do you want to allow this? app to make changes and you want to click yes and we got here it's a virtual serial driver um, I did this earlier so it's gonna say for me no installation is necessary but if you have if you haven't done this go ahead and click uh, install so here is the uh, Mercury Lux version 1.2. I'm going to do a right mouse click. I'm going to run it as an administrator. I'm going to see what it does. So there's a little 
uh, link it says more info click on that more info and then you want to click run anyway because it doesn't know the publisher of this software so just run it and then you'll get a do you want to allow this app from unknown publisher to make changes to your device and you want to say yes okay I got an error here it says the port cannot be open I'm just gonna click OK and it pops this up. The reason it says that because you haven't really configured the COM port. Uh, you have to know what COM port you're using. In my case, I'm operating remote control. Uh, I verified it was COM port 7 and I want to apply it. See, now the, the temperature is registered. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and close this out and then reopen it. I'm going to double click on the Mercury Lux PC version 1.2. Just double click. It's already registering. What I like to do also, a little tip, is down here in the um, taskbars, down at the bottom, this is currently what I'm looking at now. Do a right click and then you want to pin it to the taskbar. Okay? So this one here is the new version. That's the version 1.2. And this one right here is a version 1.0. I don't want to run them both at the same time. This is what I didn't like. Right now, it's, it's in operate mode. You see everything? It's, it's like bright in color. If I click standby, it's now subdued into a lighter uh, color. So when I transmit, See, I'm transmitting now. It's not transmitting. So that's how I knew that it wasn't standby. Once again, I started the application. I was hoping that they resolved it to default to say standby instead of going straight to operate. So that's uh, one thing I was hoping that they fixed. So I'm going to put it in operate now. I got my remote control here. I'm going to transmit now and ready and boom. That's about 500 watts with six watts reflected. And then I can increase the power. Let me put it in standby. Okay, this is like 12 watts of power. I'm going to transmit now in 12 watts of power. There it is. That's 12 watts of power. That's about uh, 1100 watts uh, on ready. And I'm operating, you can see the band selector here, it's automatic detection, I'm in the uh, 80 meter band. That concludes the portion of updating the, the Mercury Lux Remote PC version 1.2. Again, to the download folder at the uh, Mercury website, you have the Mercury Lux PC software and then the Mercury Lux firmware. This is what we want now this time. Just double click on that, you get a download. Download is so fast. And I'm going to go to my downloads, my file manager. Under download. All right, so I'm going to just right mouse click, extract all, and then choose where you want to extract it. I'm just going to use my default download folder. It extracts, it pops up another window. Here we want to um, use the tie uploader. Just do a right mouse click. Let's run it as an administrator. And you get a window that says Windows protected your PC. So there's a, a link where it says more info. Just click on that. And it doesn't know the publisher. So just run it anyway. And then you get a pop-up window saying, do you want to allow this app from unknown publisher to make changes to your device? And just click yes. All right, so what pops up here on this drop-down, I have a USB serial connected from my PC to the Lux. That's how I'm able to do this upload uh, remote control. So I'm just going to click on upload. And then it brings up another window where the firmware file is located. Just highlight that. It brings it down here to the file name and you click open. So you see the progress? And that's it. And it's done. 
and you'll be operating on firmware version 1.2. Now down in the bottom, I have two shortcut links. This one here on the left, it's version 1.0. And again, this one's showing it's an operate. So when you unclick it, if when you unclick it, it it's subdued. It goes to like uh, not bright in color, right? I'm COM7. That's what I'm using. Okay, so this is version 1.0. So I have that as a backup. If 1.2 has any kind of glitches, I can just still come back here and use it. So let's close that out. And then here on the right side, this is version 1.2. It's right here. I'm going to verify my COM port. It is COM port 7. And I want to continue on that. Okay. If you get those errors, just verify you get a COM port 7. Apply it. Okay. And then close out the application. And then reopen your application. It's COM port 7. Maybe there's a... Maybe there's a a communication problem because I had both of them open uh, and I keep switching back and forth but what I'm looking for here is a temperature registration and if you don't get that maybe perhaps reboot your computer so when I closed out of it this is 1.2 I have a temperature registration and I am using COM port COM7 and it's working there see So I'm going to transmit, uh, let's see, I, I think that's too much power, but let's take a look. Yeah, I'm on air, CC, 1100 watts, 18 watts reflected. Look again, SWR 1.3. All right, you saw that current drain, 39, 39 amps. Yeah, I don't normally operate full power so uh, I'm going to reduce it I'm reducing my power right now all right that's about two watts here and this is what two watts gives me 470 um, 480 500 watts out that's 27 amp bridge on the drain so that's what I got and uh, I'm not sure exactly what changes. I just want to show you the methods on me updating my firmware remote control <laughs> from Denver. And uh, I can't tell you because um, I'm here. I can't tell you if the Mercury Lux is actually updated, you know, by pushing those buttons. But uh, here's a video to show you how to do it. So uh, 73s, uh, my amateur radio call sign is November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. Uh, name is Darren, and uh, see you on the next video. Have a great day. Fire spreading all around my room. My words so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.